Hey, how you guys doing? I'm making this video to show you some of the uh, recent changes I made to the Mass Effect school. I received a couple bug reports and I went ahead and fixed them. Um, I also added a, a collection manager so you no longer have to um, link each individual object um, back and forth. So you, can, you can now select multiple objects. And you could just give them a name and it will store that as a collection. And then when you're painting and dropping your objects, you can just switch between them and it will automatically uh, input that collection for you. So when you select a new set of uh, objects, make sure that the previous uh, group isn't select any objects in the previous collection isn't select uh, active or selected. Otherwise, it's going to add that one as well. So just shift select uh, any object from the new set um, and then add that to the list and then as for the ground objects if they don't have a rigid body passive and it, it detects that it doesn't ha uh, have that enabled it will automatically um, add that for you so any object you want to drop your assets on just uh, Make sure that they are the last ones that are selected before hitting start. And then it will it will set that up for you. So if I hit um, start, you can easily holding Alt, holding the Alt key, and then moving the mouse towards the panel, and then letting go of the Alt key will freeze the brush. And then you can just see the changes you make for the, that brush. And then for for switching between the collections, like I said, it will automatically set that uh, input that in the collection property. So you could just easily switch between the, the set of objects that you want to drop. Uh, another change I made is the the height the height of the brush is changed by holding uh, the shift key and then scrolling your mouse up and down. You can change the height. It's no longer holding control. Control the control key and is just used for uh, scrubbing through the simulation, and you do that by um, holding holding the control key and then moving the mouse. So the more you move the mouse, the more it will it will scrub through your timeline and continue dropping the objects that haven't fell completely. So I'm gonna hit R to reset back to frame one. And then I'm gonna drop these cubes on onto this this ground object right here. And then since it's set to apply on right click, which is the best option for painting, um, I can just go ahead and hold Control and, like I said, move the mouse around, and then continue dropping the objects once they're completely on the ground. Uh, you could go ahead and hit that right click button and it will apply that for you. Uh, the reason I joined the objects is because I have uh, join, the join option enabled so um, you could go ahead and disable that as well and just continue dropping. And that will no longer join them. For now you will have to remove uh, objects that fall through um, or just don't don't stay on on the ground. Uh, I'm still looking into detecting the velocity of the objects, and and seeing if seeing if they they made it on the ground or not, and then automatically deleting them if they didn't. But for now, you will have to uh, remove them manually. Like I said, you can instantly just switch between your, your collection and then just drop your objects. And just hit right click. So the workflow is mostly for painting. It's just uh, holding the left click, the left mouse click, and then uh, moving the mouse around and then once you let go you hold the control key and then move the mouse around and continue 
and then right click to apply. As for the the custom brush, you you now uh, input that custom as a string property, and then um, it will go ahead and you you no longer have to have the the custom brush uh, active in order for it to start. Uh, like I said, make sure that the the last objects that are selected are the ground objects, which are the objects that that are going to um, that you're going to be dropping your your items on onto. I'm gonna hit start. Hold the Alt key, move it to the panel, let go of the Alt key, and then just it will take that shape so that you can go ahead and paint paint based off that shape in the previous uh, the previous version of, of the massive x3 the the brush would uh, or interfere with the ray cast and it would cause the brush to move uh, towards you but it no longer does that because um, because it when before starting the modal it makes sure that the only ray cast that it's going to focus on is are the ground objects um, because they used to detect uh, it used to detect. It used to raycast through the selection of the object that's under the mouse, and that's what will cause the brush to interfere with with the modal. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete these. And another thing. Oh yeah, if you if you want to add a a new object to a collection. Let's say I want to add this object to the cubes collection. You just hit this button right here, and then you can choose the collection you want to add it to, and it will automatically add that to to that group. But yeah, that's all I wanted to show you guys for this uh, update. I went ahead and uploaded the update on Blender Mark and Gumroad, so make sure you you update your um, your Mass Effects add-on. Uh, I'll I'll go ahead and make another video explaining um, the cursor the new cursor widget that I'm going to add as well in the in the next version. And um, I've been thinking about making the Mass Effects tool an active tool, so I'll I'll let you guys know when that's ready. But that's it for this video. I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.